So guys, finally a stable Linux build is here and it's not the older one, not the version 3, it's a new fresh build by Mandy Singh. And in this video, I'm going to review this. So, let's start. So the stable lineage OS doesn't mean that everything will work slow so like the VOLT is not working and the battery backup is not that good also it is sometimes laggy and the camera on some devices is not working. So these are some of the bugs but that doesn't matter because you can flash a camera zip I have given below that will fix the camera and uh, like it was not a big deal to work camera work or not because mine is working fairly you can see my camera is working here. See, I can clip pictures from both front and back camera too. So I clicked open a picture from back camera and now from the front camera. Also flash works, the front flash uh, if you are wondering if it works or not. Yes, it works. So okay, all the doubts are cleared like the camera and working. Let's start with the review. This ROM is snappy but sometimes laggy. Let's go into settings. I will show you which Android version it's running on. The latest 7.1.2 uh, stable Nougat version it is running on. And it's uh, the security patch is 5 July. So it's the latest one. I don't know about the July, uh, August security patch. What is it? But I thought the July is also the July is the latest only. So uh, July is the latest for me. Here are the apps, uh, ignore these apps NT2 and the night screen. So these other apps are the stock lineage apps you get. You get the Jelly browser instead of the Jello browser from the older lineage OS builds. And you also get this new lineage gallery. So yeah, it is a new lineage gallery, not the older one you get from the CM1. Now let's go and see some of the features you get here in the display mode In the display you get this wake on plug and prevent accidental wake up. It's a really good uh, uh, feature for the Lineage OS. Also, I made a separate video on all the features of Lineage OS. Just click this I button to get uh, watch that video. We have some font uh, and display size customization. Expanded desktop. This is a useful feature if you want to view uh, movies in full view mode like hiding the status bar and nearby you can enable that. Then sound and apps and storage, battery, battery is good, almost really awesome but I thought some th more tweaks may help the battery to be good or you can flash some add-ons or get some cool mods to get the battery to be good. Here are some navbar and hardware buttons, customization, you can customize your hardware and advanced displays for those I think uh, some deaf for uh, blind persons. Status bar customization is some, uh, I think, customizations in the status bar with some icon customization and all you can change the cock clock position. It's available in a deep way in the Resurrection Remix and other devices. Privacy Guard is the Lineage OS and Cyanogen Mode, it was from Cyanogen Mode. It's a very good feature. If you have a Lineage OS ROM, you should enable this feature. And other settings are normal one, you get the advanced restart in the developer options, you just need to uncheck it, oh, sorry check it and now just reboot here. You get the advanced restart to soft reset, recovery and bootloader. So overall this ROM is really good and I find no defaults here. VOLT is not working but LT is working like 4G is working, okay I will tell you. So I turned off the internet and now we can see. LT is working, so 4G is working fine, hotspot is also working, I was enjoying late night 4G hotspot uh, from uh, Geo and you can install Geo, Geo 4G voice app uh, to get the uh, uh, calls and all you can call anyone and receive so okay call quality is also not like good but it's okay call quality so this was the ROM review of the Lineage OS on the Galaxy J7 and this is the latest one Lineage OS and it's a first build that's why it may lag sometimes and now let's move to the installation of the ROM yes uh, there is nothing much I can show so directly let's move to the installation now on the installation uh, part you can directly go into uh, recovery if you have any USB ROM or other ROMs or you can just power off the device and you know how to manually go to the recovery mode so you, after powering off your device, you just need to press this volume up, home and power button to boot into recovery mode. Now into the recovery mode, just go to backup and backup your older ROM in case you didn't like this ROM and want the voltage and all support. Select storage as internal SD card. 
Now go to wipe and go to advanced wipe, Dalvi cage data, oh sorry, data and system. What I am doing. Now just swipe to wipe, then go to install. Here are those files the lineage OS, the base, ARM, Pico G apps, and the add on for root. And if you are uh, wondering if your camera is not working, I will give a camera zip dot zip file uh, down below in the description. You just need to flash that through recovery too. So you need to flash these files and just reboot to the system. And this way your lineage OS will boot up. So if you guys like this video, press the like button. If not, press the dislike and the feedback and comments will be in the uh, comment section below. And if you like this lineage OS, just go to the XDA thread and press the thanks button. Also, the thread link is already down below in the description. You can download all stuff from there. So, goodbye guys. Uh, I will see you in the next video. Till then, please subscribe. Uh, please be subscribed and goodbye. Wait for the next one. Bye.